uh, just getting over uh, a breakup. Yeah, my oh. girlfriend went to pieces after I broke up her body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just really hard to hide them. Why? Why did I do this? Well, you know, she said, you don't treat me like the queen. Well, okay, I'll treat you like the queen, honey. She was rushed. Took her down into the basement. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you got the joke. <laughs> Even though history here. <laughs> but I, I, I'm, I'm hooking up with another girl, you know. She's, and she's really, she likes the bad girls. You know, the guys really know how to drive a stick shift. <laughs> gotcha that. Yeah, she... Yogarati was founded by Guru Ray Kelly in 1995 when he went through a trial of sequences to effectively protect himself without losing his sense of self. There was a time in my life when karate was too hard for me, but yoga was too boring. But I loved them both. I wanted to effectively defend myself with the efficiency of Masoyama and the sensation of Steven Seagal. But at the same time, I wanted to learn about myself, like Moses up on Mount Sinai, or Neo in the Matrix. And that's what happened. Yogarate is what happened. Yes! <laughs>yeah what's up I'm busy isn't that obvious I'm just feeling really bad about some stuff well all right well my boyfriend dumped me you mean that rockabilly hooligan <laughs> yeah Derek well good <laughs> yeah but <laughs> I feel really bad about it. You'll get over it, honey. Mom said I lost my scholarship, too. Okay, how about this? Do you know about the genocide in Rwanda? Like the stuff in Africa? And you want to go to college? Okay, so there was this one guy who was a Tutsi, and his village was attacked by the Hutu. Hutu mercenaries slaughtered his entire family as they pleaded for their lives, and then they chopped his hands off. He only survived because he played dead in a pile of corpses for 18 hours. But I saw this guy on TV, and you couldn't imagine a more deeply peaceful man. I mean, he found true joy in his life, despite having lived through that unspeakable horror, and he learned how to very efficiently use a pair of hooks in place of his hands. Dad, what the hell are you trying to tell me? What I'm trying to tell you, my dear, is that you should understand how fortunate you are to live such a privileged and abundant life. My lord, I, I lived in the temple city in Randomov. You are a virtual utopia, a haven of innovation, wisdom, learning, innovation to rival Athens. I looked all around. Already we were surrounded. The buildings just started collapsing. Fires went up. The screaming! And then there was just the screaming. And I swear I heard that the flesh, the flesh that they tore from the bodies of their victims. And then I knew there was only one thing we could do. We just turned and ran. It was, oh. And then I just ran and ran. And the more I ran, the louder the screams and the howling and the cackling became. Oh. 